Hi, Fancher Creek students. This is Ms. Cha. Today in language, we will be learning about adjectives, standard L 3.1a. Adjectives are words that describe nouns. If you remember, nouns are people, places, things, or ideas. So adjectives will tell you what kind and how many of that noun there is. Adjectives often come before the noun, but they can sometimes be found after the verb in the sentence as well. Let's look at our example down here for the word toy. We can have many words that describe what kind of toy. It can be an expensive toy, interesting toy, educational, broken, or a green toy. Our list here on this side is how many. So these are all words that would tell you how many toys we have. We have two toys, many toys, several, some, and four. If you look at these words here, a lot of these are number numbers. So any of your numbers, like 20, 50, they can also be adjectives. The first one we're going to be looking at is adjectives that tells you how many. Let's read the first sentence together and look at the nouns in the sentence. Thomas ran six laps around the track. The nouns in the sentence are Thomas, laps, and track. Are there any words to describe Thomas? If you look at the sentence, there are no words to describe Thomas. Let's look at the word laps. Are there any words to tell you how many laps or what kind of laps? We have six laps, okay? Look at the word track. There are no other words to describe track, just the word, the article that. So in this sentence, the adjective that we have here is six. Six tells you how many laps there are. Look at number two. Several students signed up for the talent show. What is What are the nouns in this sentence? We have students and talent show. Are there any words to describe students? Yes, we have the word several. Several tells you how many students. But other than the article the, there are no words to describe talent show. Number three, are your practice reading for 15 minutes? The adjective 15 tells you how many minutes because the nouns are minutes and aria, and there's no words in there to describe aria, just 15 for the word minutes. Now we're gonna look at adjectives that tells you what kind. Calvin bought yellow roses for his mother. The nouns in there are Calvin, roses, and mother. There are no words to describe mother or Calvin, but we have the adjective yellow that tells you what kind of roses he bought. Number two, Mr. Kwan's car is red and sleek. In this sentence, there is only one noun, car. What words tells you what kind of car does he have? He has a red and sleek car. Both of those adjectives actually tell you what kind of car he has. Number three, she bought a beautiful purple dress. The nouns in there are she, which is our pronoun she, and then we have dress. There's no words to describe she, but the word dress has two adjectives, beautiful and purple. Both of these adjectives tells you what kind of dress she bought. Okay. Now we're going to be doing some practice sentences with adjectives. I want you to be able to look at the sentence and find the adjectives in the sentence. Number one, it says Denise swam in the cold blue ocean this morning. Take a look at the sentence. What are the nouns in there? What are the words that describe a noun in there? So we have Denise, ocean, and morning. In this case, morning is actually an, uh, an adverb. So we have ocean and Denise. Is there any words to describe Denise? No, but look at the word ocean. What kind of ocean or how many oceans do we have? We actually have a what? Cold and a blue ocean. So those are the two adjectives that describes ocean. They tell you what kind. So if you picked cold and blue, you are correct. Look at number two. Jane has three older sisters who live in Los Angeles. The nouns you have are Los Angeles, Jane, and sisters. What words in there tell you how many or what kind? If you picked three and older, you are correct. The three tells you how many sisters and older tells you which, which one or what kind of sisters, okay? Number three, Anthony ate some sweet juicy cherries. What are the nouns in the sentence? The nouns are Anthony and cherries. Are there any words in there to tell us about Anthony or cherries? If you picked some, sweet, and juicy, you are correct. Some, sweet, and juicy are adjectives that describe cherries. Some tells you how many, and sweet and juicy tells you what kind of cherries. 
Number four, our grandfather is loving and generous. In this sentence, we actually only have one noun, which is grandfather. Are there any words in the sentence to describe grandfather? If you said the adjectives are loving and generous, you are correct. Because loving and generous tells you what kind of grandfather we have. If you got out all of these questions correct, fantastic job. Okay, if you are still a bit confused and you would you know, need some more review, please go back and watch the video. It would be very helpful to watch it again and read each of the slides again. All right, until next time, have a good day.